From Requiem to Reconstruction, Interview with Arida Owada Volume 3 Arida Owada born on March 28, 1955. Family of four, including wife, eldest son, and eldest daughter. Former radio announcer in Fukushima, programming director. Currently freelance announcer. Author, scheduled to publish Owada Notes, The Importance of Communicating, The Splendor of Communicating, in September this year motto, What You Can Do Tomorrow, Don't Do It Today, What You Can Do Today, Do It Today With All Your Might. The importance of communicating from Fukushima now Mr. Awada says, when March 11th comes around, the media always uses the word milestone, such as second year turning point and third year turning point. However, for the victims, there is no such thing as a milestone for the victims, and even more so for the bereaved families who are still missing and whose bodies have never been seen, every day is March 11th. Interviewer, Minoreo Matsuo slash Nick Ken Sunday August 16, 2016, isn't it embarrassing to ask such things to someone who has lost a family member? Mr. Owada, please tell us about the most painful and painful thing in your life so far. Owada, every year on March 11th, the media announces that this year is the first, second, or fifth year since the earthquake that I think this is how the media is dealing with the disaster victims. That's just hubris. On June 10th of the year of the earthquake, I still remember a man named Dr. Minoru Kamada, honorary director of Suwa Central Hospital in Nagano Prefecture, who came to the Minimisoma Gymnasium for charity with his friend Masashi Sada to help. Thank you very much. Instead of 600 people, 1,200 people came, and we only sang one song in an hour, and we just had a fun chat, after that, I spoke to a housewife in her 50s who had come. Tomorrow is June 11th, exactly three months since the earthquake. How are you feeling now? When I heard that, I felt offended. My house was washed away by the tsunami, and two of my family members were also washed away, and one person is still missing that I s three months a milestone for us. You, the media, want to create milestones, but for those of us who lost our families and lost our homes, there are no milestones. Aren't you embarrassed to hear such a thing? I was approached. This was the third month after the earthquake, and I felt truly ashamed. For mothers and fathers who have lost their children, every day is March 11th every day, they wake up in the morning, look at the photos of the families and children they couldn't save, and say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I couldn't help them, apologize so March 11th may be the anniversary of his death but it's not a milestone, especially for people who have family members who are missing. Every day is March 11th, the only people who call it a milestone are the media. It is true that reporting how many days have passed since the earthquake is actually important, but for the victims, every day is March 11th, and there are no milestones, and the very act of covering the story is a negative blow to the sadness of the victims. Is Kayahama, Minamisoma City, Fukushima Prefecture, continues to be prayed for beyond the sect. At some point, people will always reach their sake. For the sake of the victims, I can no longer conduct interviews. Being at a broadcasting station was impossible for me, and I seriously thought I was going to quit the company. Then, I visited a friend of mine, Koyu Abe, a Soto Zen priest, and talked about this. Ta I complained that I had reached my limit, because I could no longer stand up in front of the disaster victims with a microphone, and I could no longer go to the disaster victims' places. Then he silently wrote three words, Saka Cookie. In the Buddhist world, this means 100 days. No matter how painful or sad things may be, this is the day when you stop crying. This is the day when we decide to continue living, including for those who have passed away. This is the graduate memorial day, and a 100-day memorial service is held for this purpose. Who is the 100 days memorial service held for? It is for the bereaved family. Today is a turning point. Stop crying today. You will live to live up to the weight of the deceased. It's been exactly three months since the earthquake, about 100 days ago. He says it is true that there are bereaved families who cannot overcome their grief in just 100 days, but everyone must someday come to a death. That's why he encouraged me to do my best too. These words brought me back to my senses, and for me, this day became a death memorial day. Continued, to volume 4.